Okay, our next formula we're going to be looking at is our patient inspiratory flow demand. It's a very simple formula in which we look at the respiratory rate times the patient's tidal volume times 6. By getting the patient's respiratory rate and the tidal volume and multiplying it by 6, I can come up with the patient's inspiratory flow demand. For example, if I told you that the patient's respiratory rate was 10 times their tidal volume, say their tidal volume was 500 mLs times 6, 10 times 500 is 5,000 milliliters times 6 equals 30,000 milliliters or 30 liters per minute. That would be the patient's inspiratory flow demand. That's the minimum flow demand right at this moment that this patient is requiring to meet their needs, inspiratory needs. When we would use this formula? When we're looking at our equipment to determine if our equipment is a high flow or a low flow piece of equipment. That would mean that we would have to use another formula, which is our equipment flow formula. And our equipment flow formula is the liters of O2 being delivered in the device, well, what's driving the oxygen a device that we're placing on the patient, times 0.79 divided by the FiO2 being delivered by the oxygen device minus 0.21. So now, if we said we were going to go ahead and place a patient on a, um, say, a 35% Venturi mass that's running at six liters per minute. We'd have to plug the numbers in and six liters per minute times 0.79 divided by my FiO2 I said was 35 percent which would be 0.35 minus 0.21. Again we're going to get our calculator out And we're going to do 6 times 0 0.79, which is 4.74. And 0.35 minus 0 0.21 is 0 0.14. So you're going to do 4.74 divided by 0.14, and that's going to come up to 33. 0.86 liters per minute, or rounding it off to 34 liters per minute. So based on this example, our equipment has a total flow output of 34 liters per minute, and our patient's inspiratory flow demand was 30 liters per minute. So based on our, for, our, based, on our based on our definition, pardon me, of a, what a high flow de uh, device is and a high flow device meets or exceeds uh, the patient's inspiratory flow demand. This device meets and exceeds the patient's inspiratory flow demand. So I would consider that 35% 35 Venturi mask a high flow device.